There's a number of different places that you can get to the rebates control on a unit. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to do it from the invoice itself. In the previous video, um, working with model numbers, uh, I showed you how to get to it from serialized uh, management. Um, you can also, uh, just to kind of show you real quick, you can also go to settings and then come down here to serialized items and then go to model numbers. Uh, when you choose a model number here, you can set it down here at the bottom of this control. Um, and again, here we're going to do it live while we're actually doing an invoice. So this would be a situation where we do not have a rebate on this particular unit that we're about to pick, but there is one, so we're going to add it on the fly. So we're going to go ahead and go back to the invoice. I'm just going to add, uh, I'll tell you what, I'm going to add a unit by a model number. Uh, the other videos cover some of th these processes as well, but I'm just going to choose a, a model here that I don't have any rebate information on. So when I click the down arrow key after adding the model or the unit, you can see that I've got rebate information, but there's nothing here. So I'm going to click the pencil here, and it brings up the same control that you see over in settings when I was showing you that a particular control over there. But you're just going to click on add new rebate. Uh, we'll call it a test rebate. We'll say it's for $500. It starts today. It expires at the end of the month. It's for 100% uh, to the customer. And we're going to use the bonus bucks to actually pay for it. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and save that. And so now you can see that we actually have rebate information here on this unit. And if we open up the detail on that unit, you can see that we now have $500 rebate here. Now, to, to be clear, what is going on here is that if we go back over to the, the settings section and take a look at what we had over here in the serialized now. So we'll go back down here to model numbers. And I'm not totally sure which one of these things I picked. Let's... I wasn't paying attention there. I apologize. So here it is. So you can see that even though I added the model number to the deal, the, the system went over here and added it to that model number so that any other unit that's in the system that happens to have this model number on it is going to also get that rebate. And if you happen to open a, an invoice that has a model number on it, that was done previously let's say you know an hour ago we added a model to this same model to another invoice for another customer but we didn't know about the rebate we've added the rebate now and if i open that original invoice up lizzie will actually alert you and tell you that that rebate information has been updated and you need to review it so it not only will automatically add the rebate information to the other deal, but it'll now notify you that there has been something done to it so that you know to, to look at it to make sure that it's correct. So that's pretty much all there is to, to adding a rebate to a unit. And again, you can do it ahead of time over here in the model number information, or you can actually do it live on the deal as you're, as you're doing deals.